Hi there, my name's Dave. I work here at Berry Hill Fisheries, very popular day ticket fishery. Get a lot of Joe Bloggs average anglers coming along wanting to enjoy a nice day's fishing, and I'm just going to try and simplify a few basic things. The first thing is how to hook a maggot in a proper way that gives you good presentation and a maximum way of hooking the fish. Right, we also you can purchase hooks already tied to line. Very, very easy, good way of getting a strong hook with a strong line to match your fishing that you're going to do. They come in usually packets of eight, different sizes to different breaking strains, but very versatile. You choose the one relevant for your type of fishing. And when you actually get them out of the packet, you just simply unravel them and you have a really nice sharp hook, so you can see it's got stuck in my finger. Um, sharp hook, decent strong bit of line, and on the end of them, they all have a loop on the end where you can tie your main line. Uses like a simple half blood knot to tie your main line to the loop and it's very effective and very simple way of tying a hook on if you're not very good at tying an eyed hook or a spade end hook. Right, nice few maggots, hook to nylon, an easy way of hooking the maggots so it looks natural to the fish and they take it without any hesitation. So I just take the maggot out of the pot, it can be any colour, not relevant, there's a fat end and a thin end. Okay, there we have a nice juicy wriggly maggot, irrespective of colour, a fat end and a thin end, pointed or otherwise. And usually I will hook the maggot in the more sort of robust substantial area on the back end of it. So gently pick up the maggot, hold it firmly, don't break it or pierce it, they're quite fragile things. Get your hook firmly in the other hand and just gently pierce it lovely on a barbless hook and make it still wriggle and look natural and that way when that's falling through the water with your loose feed maggots it's in amongst the loose ones you fed and it looks so natural they will take it without any hesitation any uh, damaged maggot needs to be changed very quickly because the fish are not silly they know what a good maggot is and a bad one and if you want to use two or three you can just load them in the same I tend to load them all on the same end and you can see how appetizing and lively they look to a hungry fish uh, with the maggot sometimes when you're winding in particularly if you're winding quickly which is not the best idea the maggots will twist in the in the water and the line will then the hook length will also twist Sometimes a way around that, to avoid that, is to alternate the way you hook the maggot. So the first one is hooked in the thick base, the second one you can actually hook in the head, and they're back to back, or back to front, or whatever the terminology is, and that way different shapes of maggot will create less spin in the water and not twist up the line quite so much. So you can try that, even a third one sometimes, just to break up the the way it reacts in the water and as long as they're all wriggling and looking lifelike just like that there and the fish aren't suspicious of a dead dirty or rotten maggot that's dead that looks quite appetizing again and hook them in different ways to experiment and reduce twist right uh, we soon had to hook the maggots and most times on a barbless hook they shouldn't come off um, as you can see this particular one is a spade end hook most average anglers would use an eyed hook but spades are very popular with perhaps more experienced match anglers the main reason being it's not really hook holding capabilities it's more for the fact that they get a greater choice of hooks available to them for their competitive fishing um, eyed hooks tend to be a bit clumsy a bit bulky with the eye and a really fussy match angler can then go to his tackle shop buy a particular pattern of a spade end hook a lightweight, heavyweight, medium weight to suit the conditions or the species he's fishing for. Tie it himself, a very experienced way of tying a spade end hook, quite easy when you know, like anything. But the gist of it being, it's a, a bigger range of hooks available to him for his specialist fishing. Okay, when you're in the tackle shop buying your maggots, a, a good tackle dealer should be sieving off the nasty, smelly sawdust that they arrive to him in and making them neat, clean, nice maggots. So you'll get your maggots in his measuring pot, they'll go in your bait box, and then finally the nice last little touch is to get some maize meal, 
really nice human consumption fine maize meal. It's not food, it's more for cleaning the maggots and making them much more presentable. So again, a good tackle dealer will add to your neat maggots in your box, nice bit of maize meal, twist it round, it degreases them, they sink quicker, sink better, nice to handle, not dirty and smelly, the ladies can pick them up, the young lads can, no chance of any disease, and it's just nice, really good quality presentation.